Whoever said dark skinned women couldn't wear red lipstick clearly was lying because a sis is looking good, period. your go-to channel for fashion and beauty here on YouTube. And in today's video, I wanna show you guys my top five best red lipsticks for deep, dark skin. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a wide variety of reds, whether it's your classic red, your little bit more warm tone, a little bit more cool tone, and I even have some burgundies in there for you as well. I am including some horrible mentions towards the end of the video, so you do wanna make sure you watch till the very end to find out what those are. Let's hop right into the video. As you guys can see, I do not have any lipstick on my lips, but what I do have right now is my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. I do always like to prep my lips with something that is going to hydrate them, especially before I go in with any lipstick. A couple of videos ago, I took you guys with me to the Grammys after party, and in that vlog, you guys saw me wear a red lip. The red lipstick that I was wearing in that video was actually the Juvia's Place Afrique Matte Liquid Lipstick. I'm pretty sure Juvia's Place has a few options for red lipstick, but personally, I was super drawn to this color just because I know some people might ask if I do line my lips I'm not really afraid of wearing bright lipstick colors so sometimes I line my lips sometimes I don't but specifically for red lipsticks if I'm going to line my lips I'm going to be reaching for two lip liners for my more warm tone reds I go in with this one and for more cool tone classic kind of red I'm gonna go in with this one this is what these two lip liners look like this one right here is the warm tone chocolate brown and then this one is the burnt me. So if you guys are interested in these two specifically, I will leave more information on all of the lipsticks in this video in the description box down below. So go ahead and check that out. And this lipstick has like a really nice doe foot applicator. This is what the Juvia's Place Afrique Matte Liquid Lipstick looks like. looks like swatched onto the back of my hand. This is my go-to red for when I want a lipstick that's going to be a little more on the fiery side. A red with a little bit of interest is what I kind of describe this shade as. So I'm gonna wipe this off, apply another thin layer of Fenty Gloss, and we're gonna go on to the next lipstick. And if you guys ever have trouble getting off a liquid lipstick, especially a bright shade like a red, applying the lip gloss on your lips before you apply that lipstick actually really helps. So the next lipstick on this list is one I definitely think you must have in your collection, and that is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Missy and Fierce. If you're looking for a classic red that's going to work with everything, classic reds just tend to have like a little bit more of a cool tone hue to it. This is going to be your lipstick on this list. This shade is absolutely stunning. So this is Missy and Fierce right here. As you guys can see, Afrique is a lot more warm and Missy and Fierce has a lot more of a blue to it. This is what one layer of Missy and Fierce looks like. I really, really, really love Missy and Fierce. And the great thing is that it's from a super affordable brand, which is Wet n Wild. You guys can literally pick this up from any of your drugstores. What I also really love about classic red lipstick is how white they make your teeth look like. And just because I can low key already hear you guys through the screen, y'all are probably saying, girl, I wanna see what this looks like with the liner. So this is what it looks like with this burgundy lip liner. I like to add my lip liner just in the outer corners of my lip. I think it just makes your lips look a little more plump and a little bit more of like a natural ombre. Now we're gonna wash, rinse, and repeat and go on to the next lipstick. Okay, so now we're gonna go into a very popular red lipstick that I just so happen to also love, and that is none other than the TBD Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. I absolutely love the packaging of this lipstick. It's definitely the most beautifully packaged lipstick on this list. It's the most unique applicator that I've personally seen on a liquid lipstick. It almost looks like an hourglass in a way, but it just makes for applying a lipstick super easily. Okay. 
okay, this is what one layer of Sunna looks like. This is hands down the most bright lipstick I've shown you so far. The color is very rich and pungent and it is definitely going to give you that wow factor. So this is where a liner is definitely going to come in handy. But if you are comfortable with wearing a bright lipstick, this is what it would look like on you. And personally, I've worn it out like this and I've had literally no problem. As you guys can see, this is definitely more of the orange undertone red lipstick on this list. So if that's what you're looking for, that is this lipstick. So I've let Uncensored dry on my lips for about two minutes now, and I don't know if you guys can see, but it's slightly gotten a little bit deeper. It's still a really bright shade, so I do want to go ahead and show you guys what it does look like lined. This would be a lipstick that I would go ahead and use the chocolatey brown shade, the warm tone one, to line it. As you guys can see, I think with the lining, this one becomes a lot more wearable. And so I would love to know your guys' opinion. Do you prefer Stunna without a liner or with a liner? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now let's go on to the next lipstick. You would think after swatching all those liquid lipsticks back to back that my lips would be going through it right now, but I'm telling y'all, the layer of gloss is gonna save your life. My lips feel so hydrated. Y'all probably think this is sponsored. I wish Rihanna would sponsor me. So bullet lipstick wearers, don't think I forgot about y'all. This next lipstick is for you. And that is the MAC Cream Lipstick in the shade Dare You. Let me take it out so you guys can really see what this shade looks like. This and with a classic brand like MAC, you already know the quality is there. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one for you guys. This is what Dare You looks like on my lips. And I gotta say, I really, really love a bullet lipstick because you just have so much control when you're applying your lipstick. This one was hands down the easiest to apply out of all of them. What I really do love about this lipstick is that you're able to build it up to this intensity or leave it a little bit more on the sheer side. I think it has like almost like a slight brownish undertone to it but it's really really flattering i personally think on my skin tone and this one is a really really nice one to wear out if you want to wear red but you don't want to be like i'm here you know this one is just like i'm here you know i'm chilling so this is how dare you look swatched next to the other ones and i definitely think here you can really see how it almost looks like it has like a slight brown undertone but it's just super flattering Y'all, I'm super juiced to show you guys these honorable mentions because I have a dupe for that MAC lipstick I just showed y'all so you guys can save your coin. And I also have a red gloss in there. So be sure to stick around for those. Okay, so the next lipstick I have for you is for you Vampy Queens. This is of course a burgundy shade, which is super, super complimentary for dark skin tones. I absolutely love a burgundy in the fall time, but honestly, you can wear this year round. I'm talking about none other than the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Copenhagen. I feel like so many people already know about this lipstick, but of course I had to include it on the must have list because you really just gotta have it. Super affordable and the color is just so, so flattering. Let me show you guys. This is definitely for y'all who don't like to have to do the two-step process with your lips and you just want to throw one color on and keep it stepping. A great shade just to have in your purse, just in case you want to darken things up a little bit. Here is where I applied Copenhagen. As you guys can see, compared to the other swatches, just a lot more deeper, richer in color. like to see a similar video to this one where I'm actually showing you guys my favorite nude lipsticks for deep skin please let me know that in the comment section down below because I would love to bring that to you guys because I wear nude lipsticks like 90% of the time so 
your girl knows her nudes. It was really hard for me to just narrow my favorite reds down to just five, so that's why there is honorable mentions. And I also just wanted to show you guys a little more variety depending on, you know, what kind of formulas you guys like. And two of them are actually lip glosses and two of them are more traditional lipsticks. Actually, the shade Notion from ColourPop, this is their matte liquid lipstick. And I've had this one in my collection for a while now. It's a super pretty unique kind of red shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what this looks like. ColourPop has a really, really nice formula to their lipsticks, but personally, I do prefer their satin liquid lipsticks over their matte liquid lipsticks, and that is why I decided not to put this in my, you know, top five. But I really, really love this shade because of the berry undertone. You guys can see from the swatch, this notion is a little bit on the darker side, so this is pretty wearable as well. So it's definitely nice to have like your options. My lips are probably gonna be staying red for the next few days, but honestly, I'm okay with that. I don't look cute enough all the eye to you. So if you guys like the look of the MAC lipstick, but you know, you don't got the MAC budget, and that is totally fine, girl. The lipstick that is definitely, in my personal opinion, a dupe is this Milani Cream Lipstick in the shade Truscan. Y'all, is this a dupe or what? I personally think this is super, super similar to the Matte Cream Lipstick in Dare You. And you guys are definitely gonna see that even more in the swatch. As you guys can see on my lips, I definitely think this one has like a little bit more of the brown undertone just like Dare You has. But right here is where the MAC lipstick was swatched. And I don't know about y'all, but they look pretty similar. I think maybe Truscan is a little bit lighter. Next up for the honorable mentions, I have two glosses. One is more burgundy and one is more traditional red. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably like, um, you said must have lipsticks, not lip glosses, and I'm like, if you came here for lipstick, you probably gonna stay for lip glosses too. So I wanted to definitely include these two lip glosses just in case I have any fellow lip gloss lovers out there. But I kind of wanted to do something fun with this, and I want to use the darker lip gloss almost as a liner for this liner one, just to, you know, like, play around with makeup, you know, and just fulfill my curiosity, because I feel like it would look really, really cute. This is what this lip gloss duo looks like. I love doing a new lipstick combination. Y'all, this is high key cute. I'm super excited that I decided to do this. Oh my God, this is super cute actually. This is what the two lip gloss shades look like. This is a full view of red lipsticks and all the different variations and undertones and variety you can get within a red lipstick. I definitely encourage you guys to play around with reds and don't be afraid just because you have deep, rich, melanated, beautiful skin doesn't mean you can't play around with color and wear. So it's a staple shade in everyone's collection, which is red. Never be afraid and don't let anybody tell you you cannot wear red lipstick because I think I low-key proved in this video that red lipstick it looks fire on dark skin and that's that on that. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I would really, really love to bring you guys more deep skin approved videos in the future. I would also love to know out of all these lipsticks that I swatched for you guys today, which one was your favorite and which one is a must have in your collection. And if you guys did enjoy this video, I really hope you do consider subscribing to my channel. I make regular fashion and beauty content. And if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up because that really does help me a Lot. And also be sure to share this video with a fellow melanin infused person, humanoid, out there because I'm sure they'll find this video very useful. We are on the road to 2k so I'd really, really appreciate the support. As always, see you guys next time. Bye! Bruh, did I just break the top? Oh my gosh. I made a girl look like she just went to the dentist or something. <laughs> Just dropping everything. Clearly, this is a lipstick for you.